So we're now looking at chapter 8.3. And this is on defining variables and solving algebraic, algebraic problems, algebraic word problems. So this is chapter 8.3. When we're given a word problem, the, ver the most important rule is to define your variables, which means to determine what is the, what are the units of your coefficients, what are the units of your variables, and what do the variables represent? What does each letter or, or term in your algebraic expression represent? So we'll take an example from the textbook. This is page 259. At a garage sale, hardcover books sold for $1.50 and paperback books sold for $0.85. Cents. Create an algebraic expression for the total income and evaluate the expression if 8 hardcover and 15 paperback books are sold. So the first thing is to define our variables and look for an algebraic expression. Well, what we can always do is take the first letter because that tends to be easiest. So we'll let H equal the number of hardcover books. Now it's important to say the number of and not just hardcover books because there's many different aspects of a hardcover book. And then likewise, we'll let P equal the number of paperback books being sold. The total number of books If we relate that to the number of hardcover and the number of paperback, the total number of books is really the combination of both of those numbers. So it really is just H plus P. Now, if we're looking for the total income from these books, we need to change the variable by putting a coefficient in there that will change what each one means. So for example, H just meant the number of books. But if you get $1.50 for each hardcover book, then you can multiply $1.50 times the number of hardcover books. And this represents the income just from the hardcover books. Likewise, if we look at the, the profit from the paperback books, you earn $0.85 cents for every paperback book. So really, that is $0.85 times the number of paperback books. And then you add those two together, and that'll give you your total income. Now, letter B asks for evaluate the expression if 8 hardcover and 15 paperback books are sold. So if H equals 8 books and P equals 15 books, then we could just replace them in the original equation. Total income equals, we have this equation here, 1.50h plus 0.85p. We replace the h and the p with the respective givens. So now we are given that h is 8 and that p is 15. If we continue the calculations, this is 12 according to bed mass. We do the multiplications first, and then we do the addition together, and we end up with $24.75 is the total cost of the books. Now, let's just look carefully at this units here. We never really examined it. The units for this $1.50 is dollars, and the 85 cents is a dollar. Now, the units for the hardcover one are a little bit strange because this is just H books, but this really should be a dollar fifty per book and eighty five cents per book. So then we have dollar fifty per book times number of books. The books cancel out and I'm left with dollars. So at least you know how do the units cancel out and you're left with dollars all over again instead of just books. So try out the problems in your textbook, and we'll have a chance to review this again tomorrow in class. Hope you get it.